Joining us right now, one of the candidates on the ballot who won last night, Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson, a Republican. Thank you so much for being with us the morning after, and congratulations on your primary win. Thank you, Adrian. An honor to join you today. You know, I have to tell you, it's not a secret uh, that you ran on policies that are synonymous with former President Donald Trump. What exactly is it that Republicans want, even those who don't particularly like the former president? Well, I, I kind of boiled it down into, you know, more freedom, less government and sound money. You know, we, we look at uh, from Washington, D.C., we've got uh, a, a party of big government and frankly, some big government Republicans. Uh, every chance they get, they want to grow the government. And, you know, meanwhile, we want a smaller, um, more accountable government. And, uh, and Democrats are essentially working for the opposite. And then you look at sound money, we're seeing the consequences of destroying our money supply uh, with the massive inflation. Uh, we want a country that's respect, respected abroad. You know, you don't necessarily have to love the leader of our country, but we know when Donald Trump and Mike Pompeo were representing our country, uh, you know, people paid attention. Joe Biden, we feel like, uh, has embarrassed us, not just in Afghanistan, but in a lot of ways. Uh, I think he's kind of aimlessly blundering into the, the effort to support Zelensky. You know, they started off by saying, we'll give you a ride out. Thankfully, Zelensky uh, stepped up and said, I don't need a ride. I need ammunition. He's defending his country. And now they're dumping, you know, multiple times what everyone in the rest of the world is into Ukraine. And I'd like to see some pressure on the Europeans real leadership from uh, the administration. Here's another question for you. J.D. Vance uh, winning the Ohio Senate primary uh, last night for the GOP. He had some strong words uh, for Tim Ryan, the Democrat who won his Senate primary. Uh, Vance calling Ryan a Trump Democrat. Is it possible that more Democrats are looking for this combination of those conservative fiscal ideals that you're talking about, along with keeping some of the key agenda items of their party? Look, Tim Ryan is, is uh, you know, right to try to move the Democratic Party back. I mean, I think he's realized, gee, why is, why is Ohio no longer really considered a swing state? Uh, and it's because the Democratic Party moved. And, you know, he's got an ad out this morning already, Tim Ryan, uh, talking about trying to avoid the culture wars and talk about jobs. And, you know, it's kind of a call back to what worked for, for, for President Bill Clinton. Uh, we'll see if it resonates, but I feel, you know, J.D. Vance will have a strong advantage in the state. And we'll obviously be working hard to make sure that he and other Republicans win in the fall. We're going to uh, hear actually a soundbite right now of what a Congressman Ryan said after his big win. Let's listen. Oh, I think we're going to win. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people who voted in that primary. I think the Matt Dolan voters, for example, have absolutely nothing in common with J.D. Vance. That was 20 some percent of the uh, Republican vote. We're going to go very hard at those voters, and I think they're going to come on board. So he's, of course, talking about the win uh, coming up in the midterms. But what are your thoughts there? Well, that'll be the race, you know, uh, whether you can see some of those folks cross over. And, you know, we have Sherrod Brown as our senator. And unfortunately, he, he hasn't had a race where he's had to run on his record. His record, just like Tim Ryan's, they can say good things. But when you look at when the chips are down and the votes are called, uh, they vote like Elizabeth Warren and uh, Tim Ryan's been the same. He's had good rhetoric, but his voting records, you know, absolutely horrible. Thank and you. I don't so think that's going to work in Ohio. Congressman Davidson, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.